Hey guys, so this is part one of the Diamond Hotten upgrade for the TiVo Tarantula. And uh, this also applies to a lot of other printers, so you can follow the same basic instructions. And um, yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so um, we're going to go over the mechanics first. Um, so as you can see, here's the hot end. Got the nozzle down here. And then it has three uh, heat brakes that go into um, three heat sinks. And I have a uh, kind of a conglomeration of uh, heat sinks and and uh, heat brakes and stuff. Um, but uh, what you what you want to do is um, uh, in the description below. There's a uh, a few sources for different. Um, you can either you can either get the uh, the genuine diamond hot end with uh, E3D light light heat sinks, um, which basically uh, just have the the Bowden um, all the way down to the nozzle. Um, so this this tube goes all the way down and touches the nozzle in those ones, and uh, or you can get the um, clone ones they call them on AliExpress and and the link. Um, and uh, that looks like this. So, um, and uh, what I found with the clone ones is that uh, they come with a heat brake that has like a, uh, a it steps down. It has a little Teflon tube in there. Um, you don't really want to do that. I don't like it that much. Um, what I would suggest is get uh, some replacement heat brakes that have the 4.1 millimeter through hole um, that lets the tube go all the way down. So there's two options. You can get the clones or you can get the authentic one. Um, it, it, this one seems to work fine. So, um, so yeah, you're going to get three of these type of heat sinks. Um, they usually come with a connector. Um, you're going to get three of the heat brakes with the 4.1 millimeter through hole. Um, and then uh, the uh, the mount right here, this is, um, this is a little bit modified. I modified it so I could add another extruder on the side. But um, this one you can find on Thingiverse. And then this one I designed right here for, just for the tarantula to attach to this one from Thingiverse. Um, so that's pretty easy. Um, not really much to go over there. Um, so yeah, you put all that together <clears throat> and um, attach it to the mount. And then there's uh, a heater that goes it goes into the middle of this. And there's also a thermistor that goes um, onto the side. So this kind of gets pressed in there. Um, you're going to wrap some Teflon tape around the on this one to get it to stick in there nice and nice and good um, and then zip tie all these on too make sure these all are zip tied you're going to want a lot of zip ties because you have to cut these off every time you want to take this thing apart with paint um, and then uh, one thing is uh, that I didn't see in the diamond hot end instructions is uh, they use a fiberglass cloth for insulation so this this is um, important it keeps the heat from going up into the heat break and then uh, basically softening your filament and it'll jam so um, you want this uh, this is just a silicone uh, baking mat I got it at the 99 cent store just cut it into little squares and punched holes in them and then um, kind of just put a bunch of them on there layered them worked pretty well um, Okay, so I think that's about it. Uh, the fan got from AliExpress also. Um, 50, 50 millimeter fan. Um, let's see, anything else? No, I think that's it. Okay. So we have all three of the tubes go to these three extruders right here. And uh, so this is the original tarantula extruder. Um, that'll work fine with the diamond, it doesn't matter. Um, and then what I also did is I added a um, 
I added a pneumatic connector down here, so I think I, I drilled this out and then uh, threaded it. I don't think it was already threaded. So um, you're going to want to get a drill and a tap for, uh, I think it's a 1 8 NPT um, connection. So uh, then I put a little piece of uh, Bowden tubing in here so that you can basically feed it in without it grinding against anything. Um, it's kind of important when these are all like really close together. So you can see they're like right next to each other and this barely clears. So, um, so this one uh, is from AliExpress. Works pretty well. Uh, you can see like it has this interesting setup where it has a spring and a and this just floats. This um, bolt just floats in there, and then this actually screws in and pushes down on the head of the bolt. It goes inside the socket of the bolt. So you can see it's not even touching. It ends like right there. But um, that was a pretty interesting setup. I was a little janky. Uh, <laughs> but uh, use a file too um, to like loosen up uh, the, this slot for this bearing here. It was a little tight, so I filed it down. So that worked. Um, and again, Bowden on, or the uh, pneumatic on, on both sides. So that I can put a little piece of little piece of tubing like that, so it'll come in. Okay. Um, and then same thing on the bottom. And by the way, uh, I also added some of these uh, connectors. Added some printed ones that you can print out uh, on Thingiverse, and that is um, that is included with that file for the uh, for the um, adapter to the diamond hot end. Okay, so uh, you can find all that mechanical stuff in the description. So you're going to want to order all that and put it together, and that's pretty pretty easy. That's, that, that's the easy part. Um, some tips for putting the hot end together. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I've had to take this thing apart like a bunch of times. So um, make sure you get it done the first time correctly uh, because it's a, lot, it's a lot harder to do after you've already put plastic through it and everything. Uh, it's, it's a lot different than a normal single hot end just because um, when you have molten plastic going through one end it comes out the other ends um, so you have to make sure they're all loaded at once and uh, when you disassemble it has to be hot because otherwise the plastic will keep it from coming apart. So uh, yeah, just make sure you do it right the first time. So what you want to do is um, definitely put Teflon tape around the threads on the heat brakes. Um, put a lot. Uh, put put enough to where it's like hard to screw in. Um, you want a lot in there to keep it from leaking. I think I still have some leaking problems. I still need to put some like on on this one. Um, so make sure you have lots of tough on tape. Uh, second of all, um, don't use thermal compound on anywhere near <laughs> the uh, inlets for the plastic because that stuff can get caught in your nozzle. Uh, it makes like little flaky things that, um, that can clog your nozzle up and just make your day a, a nightmare. Um, so yeah, don't get it anywhere near that. Uh, and uh, just put it on the heater and the uh, thermistor. I don't even really know if you need that, but um, I, I don't know. But supposedly it, it improves heating capability and stuff. Um, oh, and as you can see here, I forgot to mention this, but this is a J-head uh, design from AliExpress. Uh, this one... Um, I had to like make a bigger slot for it and stuff. So this is all like <laughs> super kludged together. Um, let's see what other tips. Um, you might want to get some wire, some like 0.4 millimeter wire to run up through the nozzle. Um, I had to do that to clean out the soldering uh, paste, or not the soldering paste, the uh, thermal compound stuff. 
So, yeah, you might want to get that just in case, especially with the clone. You might, you never know what's in there. So, um, so that should be good. Uh, you can you can find instructions for how to assemble this on the. Uh, this is just a remix from a different one. Can't remember who did it, but um, yeah, you can find that on his page. Um, one thing about these other extruders is uh, the, these are going to have a different um, steps per millimeter than your uh, stock one just because it has a little bit different diameter um, and I don't remember exactly what it is but I'll post the, the firmware once I get it um, working or once I get it all standardized and everything to download it. Right now I have so much ridiculous stuff in there for like <laughs> making it work but um for instance, uh, you can see this extra ramps board. This is used just f for uh, heating because my uh, heated bed uh, MOSFET uh, burnt out. So <laughs> I'm basically using this as just a heated bed controller. Um, and then you can also see that uh, here's the, um, the board down here, the extra board. I had to connect one of my motors to that board, um, one of my other motors in addition to the third extruder, um, because a, a motor driver burnt out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, lots of fun things happening with this. Um, let's see, anything else mechanical wise? Um, when you're feeding the filament through, uh, you, you don't want to push from this end that's it doesn't like you could snap it and then your filament will be stuck in the tube which sucks so what you want to do is undo it from this end and then you can like feed it in by hand um, like if you're trying to test it out make sure all three filaments are loaded by the way once it's heated up you need to have all three filaments loaded uh, or else molten plastic will shoot out one of the other ends and clog everything so <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, that should uh, that should do it for. Oh, oh, one more thing. Uh, the um, extruder, the extra extruder uh, board. Um, I made a amount for it. That one is also in the files for that for that uh, adapter, so you can find that. Okay. So uh, next time I will go over. The electronics and wiring and everything. Um, hopefully, this isn't too broad, but just ask questions if you don't, you know, if you don't know. All right, thanks.